Thank you, Professor Chen. The next topic is um, deep metal phytosis. And uh, I think this is a very good example that a uh, small uh, little lamb can sometimes become a big bad wolf. And uh, as we know, that's, uh, the metal phyto superficial the metal phytosis is the most common fun uh, human fungal infections. Uh, most of the time, they infect our, our, our outermost part of our epidermis and, uh, co and uh, also the hairs and nails to cause a various kind of uh, tinnitus on our body. And in general, it does not bother us too much, except sometimes you may be waken up by your itching feet. But in rare and certain circumstances, it, it can invade into the deep dermis. And in histopassage, if you can see the ruptured infected hair follicles and uh, the formation of granuloma around the follicles, we call it Majokis granuloma. And if you can see some dermatophyte grains, we call it a dermatophytic pseudomycetoma. But in, uh, <clears throat> in some situations, you cannot see these pathologic findings. You can just see the dermatophyte hyphae in the dermis. Uh, these diseases are collectively uh, named as a deep dermatophytos. Uh, the metal phytosis, and uh, they have been published in different kind of names, as I listed here. And uh, sometimes uh, this deep infection can uh, spread by the lymphatic drainage system or by the blood vessels to other internal organs. So it becomes very serious. And uh, in this presentation, I just focus on this so-called deep the metal phytosis and include, exclude the disease, disease of uh, Majoki granuloma and uh, pseudomycetoma. And uh, uh, from 1975 to 2016, I searched with the PubMed, there's uh, 79 cases being reported. And uh, uh, the female, uh, the male cases is uh, obvious dominant, that of the females. And the range of uh, age of disease onset is quite wide. But in general, it is not too young and also not too old. It is uh, with uh, most of the cases are onset around their uh, 40s. And uh, the clinical presentation is quite diverse. Uh, they can be the solid nodules. Usually some uh, look like hemorrhagic nodules, maybe single or maybe multiple. And it can be presented as plaques, papillal plaques, or vegetative plaques like this, and uh, even some very bizarre shaped plaques. And uh, it can sometimes become such horrible ulceration on the body. So it is very hard to connect such a lesion with a tinea on your feet. So after the meeting, please come back and treat your tinea pedis. And uh, it can be presented as cystic masses or nodules like this, very horrible. And uh, when the lymph nodes are involved, uh, it, it becomes swollen and uh, may, may have some draining sinus with past discharge to the skin surface. And the histopathage, uh, uh, it can present as a, a, a vi just a view um, a bizarre shaped or more, more lady form uh, the metal fight hyphae in the dermis. And uh, the shape is quite different from that they present in the stratum conion. And uh, in some patients, you can see a very large number of hyphae infiltrated in the dermis. And when the lymph nodes are involved, you can see the similar hyphae in the lymph node tissue. And uh, sometimes you can find the hyphae or just in, invade into the blood vessel. This is a strong evidence of uh, hematologic dissemination. The risk factors, most of the cases have um, a long-term uh, pre uh, predisposing tinea, chronic tinea on their body. And uh, some patients uh, have DM, hepatitis, liver cirrhosis, lymphoma, leukemia, HIV, um, and uh, 
Other skin disease that need topical steroid treatment, such as atopic dermatitis and psoriasis. Another group of patients are receiving immunosuppressive treatment for their underlying disease, such as uh, sari organ transplantation, myasthenia gravis, and uh, rheumatoid arthritis. And another group of patients has congenital immunodeficiency, such as plasma factor deficiency, decreased TC activity, and uh, the uh, recently recognized uh, CART9 mutation. It's a very important protein for signaling transduction, which makes us can clean the fungi in our body. This is a bar chart of the case number distribution. You can see the most of patient has a immune, immune deficiency and followed by solid organ transplant. And very interesting is that uh, in the uh, 13 cases of SOTs, eight patients are renal transplantation patients. That's quite uh, similar to the Dr. Marriott uh, have presented yesterday that PJP also uh, occurred more in the renal transplantation patient. And uh, this is a distribution of pathogens, not to our surprise that the trichophyton rubrin is the leading cause of this disease. That's because the, the trichophyton rubrin is the most prevalent pathogen in the infection of glabrous skin. And uh, as you can see here, most of the pathogens are anthropophilic. And just only a few uh, zoophilic, such as trichophyton, varicosum, and microsperm canis. Almost all the anthropophilic uh, dermatophytes have been reported to cause deep dermatophytosis. As a treatment, unfortunately, currently there is no treatment guideline for such a disease. And, uh, but uh, we all agree that systemic antifungal agent is always necessary because of the depth of the involvement. And the most commonly used drug are fluconazole, itraconazole, and grisofabin. And uh, tabinafin, amphotericin B, keto, vori, posa have been tried in some cases. And the 10 patient has their legion uh, excised by sur surgery. And this pie chart shows that uh, three quarter of the patient are treated with single antifungal, but another one quarter of patients have been treated with uh, two or more than two kinds of antifungal, either concomitantly or sequentially. The prognosis uh, is uh, greatly depends on the extent of involvement. If the infection is confined to the skin only, the, uh, almost <coughs> all the patients can survive. But if there is internal organ or the lymph node involvement, there, there will be a mortality, will be as high as 11%. And the, the pathogenesis is not uh, fully understood by now, but most of the cases have a uh, tinea on their body size. And the route of entry, some, some people think it is follicular, that is, we infect the follicle first and uh, they spread down into the dermis label and rupture and they spread into the dermis. Like the histo passage here, they have uh, follicle involvement here and all the hyphae are this area. And uh, other people think it is non-follicular origin. It can be passively introduced into the dermis by scratching or <coughs> direct infection, uh, such as demonstrated here. They can uh, see the heavy hyphae on the surface of epidermis, and some hyphae just directly penetrate the epidermis into the upper, uh, upper layer of the dermis. And, uh, sorry. And the, the defect in host immunity is uh, the most important of all. Uh, either it is congenital or iatrogenic because it makes the host cannot clear the fungi from our body. So the challenge on the research of deep dermatophytosis is that there is very low incidence and very few case numbers. We cannot have a randomized case control trial to find the best way of treatment. And the Diagnosis is largely relied on the histopostage and culture, but it is not always feasible or available. 
and uh, there's a big confusion in the disease terminology. Uh, but uh, uh, it is very important because of the definition is correlated to the prognosis. We should have a very clear definition, then we can perform the further study. And the uh, complex pathogenesis is not well understood now, so we should go on to uh, have no uh, research or knowledge on this. So make a conclusion, Deep, the metophytosis is rare and the invasive form of the metophyte infection which may lead to the mortality. And accurate, accurate diagnosis relies on skin biopsy and for histopathogen, uh, the fungal culture as well. The host immune system plays a major role in the disease pathogenesis, genesis, extent of the disease, and uh, to the prognosis. Systemic antifungal treatment is always necessary, and uh, superficial tinea should be properly managed before starting immunosuppressive treatment for each patient they, uh, they are undergoing uh, to, uh, they will take the uh, immunosuppressive treatment very soon. Thank you.